guys what's going on guys welcome back again to another video today i'm going to be breaking down three trades that i took today they were absolutely bangers almost zero drawdown in all of them straight to take profit with this simple 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 um principle and simple strategy so the first trade was a long on gj 15 minute time frame so look the reason why i took a buy here even though we we're approaching a strong resistance if you look at the higher time frame market was still yet to break market structure to the downside and it was still making higher highs and higher lows so if we go down to a one hour time frame um you can very much see here that it's very very clean bullish uh momentum to the upside see uh high um low high higher low high higher high higher low higher high higher low higher high right now i know that we are approaching resistance however you need to understand something these resistance and support you place them there right for as long as the market is still making higher highs and higher lows there's there's absolutely no reason to take a sell without a clean break of structure right now i know how the market moves and i understand how it moves it moves from this low to this high higher low higher high higher low higher high higher low higher high and then a mini higher low and you can see we have a mini resistance here to make a higher high which it did and then i closed here then i saw a lot of rejection here due to the fact we have some resistance in this area and then i took a a, a short little sell and then i closed here as our as we were approaching the resistance because now we have a break of this of this resistance so once we have a resistance that's broken the market uses it at support so resistance becomes support support becomes resistance right so we have a clean break with a lot of momentum i was like okay cool so it looks like we're going to continue still to the upside the market is it's not rejecting this area very well we came down i took a, a, a sell from this rejection area exhaustion area and we I, I closed as we were approaching this resistance and then i waited i waited a few candles i saw this doji and reversal pattern and then i saw a bullish engulfing and then i entered another long position and took it to the upside now i did close around this area not all the way up here because again we were approaching a resistance and then i saw this wick on the smaller time frame it looked like it was rejecting so then i just took my profits and closed right very very clean and simple um trades i will obviously put a screenshot of the profits on your guys screen right now you should be able to see it and um doing only risking only one percent of my total account and that is something that really helped me a lot with with passing these challenges and becoming funded trader right the key to to passing these challenges not only to have beautiful risk management and only risking a small small percentage of your account but also to have a strong uh strategy that you that that can back your 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 risk management because you can't have either or you you have to have the complete package right um and that's exactly what i did stuck to stuck to my plan and just purely and, and and only price action i do not have a million things on my charts the only other thing that i would probably add is uh the emas um you know exponential moving averages as you can see we literally rejected the moving averages as well and then this just gave me an extra confluence that's that and then my sessions and i would only trade sessions i don't trade out of session i only trade session it's either asia or london or new york right so you just have to guys keep it simple also one thing i do look at is the rsi but i don't use it like most of you do where if it's above a certain level we must sell or if it's below no i only have one line which is the 50 line and if the rsi is above that 50 line which means there is more bullish momentum in the market there's no there's more bullish uh and, and more buyers power in the market than there is sellers so why should i go against all of these confluences telling me to buy and sell just because we're approaching a resistance that i personally put there right the market does not care whether i put a resistance or a support anyway for as long as respecting market structure as long as i'm going with price action and uh, you should be good so and only never risk more than one percent and you should be easily pass any challenge like in order for you to lose a like in order for me to lose a challenge i have to lose 10 trades in a row which means i have to risk one percent right because obviously the total max uh drawdown to any challenge is is um 10 percent and then uh 500 uh five percent daily right 
So I only risk 1% and I only take one to two trades per day. So that my daily drawdown resets, right? If you lose a trade, you now have $400 on a $10,000 account. You have now four, 400, which means four trades if you're risking 1%. So you don't want a revenge trade and you don't want to over, over risk so that you can easily and have a lot of room for, for nice, decent stop loss outside of fluctuation zones. That's also very important. Um, and just like that, yeah. So now I'll, I, I, can I can definitely see something coming for GJ uh, sells. But right now, the market is just in the middle of like nowhere. I would not take any trade whatsoever anytime soon. There is this area that we may reject from and then continue to downside because there's a lot of, lot of liquidity around here. Let me show you guys something. Why do I have emojis now? What the fuck? Since when? What is that dollar sign? Remember that dollar sign we used to use back in the day? Why did they change it? It's weird looking now. Anyway, there's a lot of liquidity here. Um, can I search? Oh, stickers, icons. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Boom. Boom. There's a lot of liquidity here. There's a lot of liquidity here too. Right? And also, there's a lot of liquidity here too right above because a lot of people have stop loss above here a lot of people have stop loss above here so i do believe that market could eventually wick up take all these sellers out and then start selling because in, in order for them to sell the market there has to be buyers right so now they're trying to get buyers and get buying get a lot of buyers in the market and then once they have enough buyers they will take all the sellers stop losses take all the money liquidity and then they will drop the market down to grab all these liquidity down here and down here and also down here too there's a lot of liquidity so that's how the market tends to move the market is always magneted to these liquidity areas you have to pay attention to these areas and know exactly what the market's trying to do so just by simply marking very simple structure market uh, support and resistance um very strong support and resistance. on higher time frames you can see we're on the four hour i never do support and resistance on less than an hour never do that because then it's not as strong as the higher time frame so it will not hold as strong as an a four hour resistance would hold right or a support so there's that i do anticipate the market uh grabbing um the liquidity above here and then and then eventually melting down to the downside so i'll guys I'll, i will keep you updated guys with any any news and update that comes and stay tuned for the website i'm busy waiting on the website to be uh, built once that there you guys will have access to a full in-depth course on how i personally trade and stuff and then also let me guys show you the uh amazing discord community that we have that where i call all my my trades i call all my trades here in the trade ideas so right here is obviously last night was the the, the buy right here was the buy um and then a few a few minutes later the market literally smashed our tp and stuff and then obviously another sell there's the sell position i didn't hold all the way down because i saw rejection so then I closed uh, where I closed. This was this trade, the middle one. Let me just go down to 15 minute time frame so it's more uh, visible for you guys. So this was the trade here, um, which was the sell. And then um, obviously TP smashed and stuff. A lot of people banked. And then here we have a lot of people flexing their results, sending a lot of profits, making profits with me as well. So you guys can absolutely, um, if you're interested to join this amazing community that we have, I will leave the links down below in the description and uh yeah with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace